But some of those other teams can absolutely catch us slipping. That's why it's important to develop that killer instinct. And I feel like we have the killer instinct when we go against teams who, you know, that we should beat up. I, I think we'll, we'll turn into killers against Pittsburgh. Well, let me ask you guys this question real quick, uh, because we're six and no, we know that we feel is real good. But there is two five and one teams in the NFC. That is the Giants and the Vikings. Who is the more realer five and one team? Giants loss was to the Cowboys. Vikings loss was to the Eagles. Now, when you look at, when we don't got to bring up their schedules and stuff. But by the end of the year, who if the Eagles continue not talking about the division? unless you think it's the Giants, then they can play spoilers because we got too late. But if you think the Eagles not only can win a division, but we could talk about the number one seed. So you going through Philly. Like, you got to yeah. come in Philly and beat them every single game. And that ain't no that ain't no small task. Who is the biggest competition at 5-1? and one? And do you think any of the 3-3 three and three sleeping Giants, the, the, the Bucks with, with Brady 3-3, three and three, do they wake up later? Does Rodgers 3-3 three and three get a wide receiver and wake up later? Does the Niners get healthy and play tough defense? Who are you more scared about, the 5-1 and one teams or the 3-3 three and three lingering teams? The 3-3 three and three lingering teams for me, e e easily. I mean, Kirk Cousins, I'm, uh, come on. Okay, hang on. Before we continue, I want to jump in here and share with you guys a super exciting announcement. We have a great promo running from PointsBet down below right now in the description box. You will find the link if you're a first-time sign-up for PointsBet. And if you live in a legal state, looking at you guys, Philadelphia, wink, wink, you can go ahead and get to betting on potentially the Philadelphia Phillies. If you guys want to go ahead and bet on the Sixers who just got started or future Eagle games, there's a great promo right now, again, down below in the description box via PointsBet. Super excited about about this head on down and check out the link right now we, 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 we you know what i mean you know we, we know what kirk cousins do when the lights is on especially in philly like this i'm telling y'all like if y'all have not been to the link yet it's different from the last couple years it's so loud it's so disrespectful that these guys want to just pack it up and leave they really don't even want to play for real for the, the opposition kirk cousins is not going to survive there neither will daniel jones it would have to be a savvy vet who has been through this. Like Tom Brady has been a hated man for like 20 years. He will be okay in a situation like that. Aaron Rodgers, he'll be okay if you get him a, you know, a wide receiver or two, but I, 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 it's not going to be, it's not going to be none of the five and one teams. Now to answer your first question before anybody else goes, who do I think is realer? I think it's the Vikings because the Vikings actually, they lost to a real team. Their only loss came to us. If, you know what I mean? The Giants lost to the Cowboys. I mean, I, I want to yeah. play the Giants. I can't wait to play the Giants because, yeah. you know, that's an unknown. They're also 5-1. and one. I think the Giants are, are scrappy. If you if you do what you did with Dallas yesterday, they'll beat you. Because they every game you look at the Giants have played, they've been down at halftime and they've come back. So they're, they're actually better in the second half. Uh, you know can't that. play the way you played against Dallas. In, in my opinion, I, I would be more scared of the Giants than the Vikings. And the simple fact is, is the Giants play you twice a year. Division games in the playoffs scare me more than playing an opponent like that's out of your division because the division opponents know you so well, you know. And I always think I have more of a puncher shot, um, you know. That that always makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. No. I I think both you guys are right on that. I. I think there's a case for Minnesota because their offense is actually scary. And, you know, the NFL is a game of matchups and they would match up well against Philly. Like, I know we, we we handled them just fine and slaying Bradbury on a different level. But I think Minnesota is is scary. But like you said, you got to play the Giants twice. The Giants are scrappy. They're finding ways to win. They're really well coached. I have a really hard time looking through, and I'm looking at it right now on my other screen, the NFC, and finding a team that genuinely scares me. You, you can go down the list of these teams and none of them have <laughs> – like, I mean, all of them have serious issues. The Vikings, they lost to us. And, you know, LB, you said, obviously, they have Kirk Cousins. That's a massive issue. The Bucks have serious, I mean, talk about serious injury issues. It's serious O-line issues. And their receivers are washed. Like, Julio Jones can't get on the football field. Mike Evans is great. That's basically it. Godwin's playing on one leg. And Brady's checked out right now. The whole, the whole Giselle stuff, you hate to talk about someone's marriage, but... He's checked out. I mean, he's going to parties yeah. on Friday night. He doesn't seem locked in at all. And they lost badly. <laughs> it was close, but they lost badly to uh, the Steelers. The Niners, they have a great defense, but they have literally Jimmy Garoppolo as their quarterback. And then you go, the Rams have no offensive line. The Packers have no receivers. I mean, you, and then no, nobody else there. Falcons are nothing. Seattle's nothing. The Saints, Commanders, Arizona, all those teams are nothing. It's just crazy to me that we're peaking and we're this good of a team in a season 
where there really doesn't seem like a true challenge where, oh, that team coming to Philadelphia at the link in a divisional game, that team could really beat us. It's, I don't see any of them. I don't see any of them doing it. You know, that, you know, that's, that, that, that's how I, that's how I felt, you know, the exact same way. What the hell was I about to say? You, you made a, you made a good point. Go ahead, Mike. I knew you was about to say something. It'll come back to me. No, like, and I totally agree with you guys in the sense that, look, there's probably going to be a game where we do something like the Chiefs did, right? The Chiefs lost to the Colts. If they play eight more times, the Chiefs win in the other eight more times. It's not happening again. That might happen in the regular season, but I do agree. Anybody who steps on this schedule, we're going to be the favorites probably throughout the rest of this season. Unless the Packers get some receivers and do something. And even still, I think we'll be the favorites. Is it in Philly or is it in Lambeau? I'm not sure. Philly. Neither here. It's it's Philly. Philly. Come to Philly. Oh, we're favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're favorites. Um, that being said, any team, and, and that's the one thing great about the NFL. Like, if if you talk about the NBA, if you're the better team, you're going to win the playoffs because you got to you gotta lose four out of the seven times. And a better team normally don't. That's baseball, hockey, and the NBA. In the NFL, man, I don't care how good you are when it comes to the playoffs because it just takes that one Sunday, that one bad performance, and you're done. And so regular season-wise, my chest is pumped, but I'm, I'm always, you know, dotting my I's and crossing my T's when it comes to the playoffs. But I think, you know, when you look at powerhouses, uh, it's, it's still, you know, Eagles, Bills, Chiefs, and the two closest to us are in the AFC. And, and, and I think the powerhouses people thought, the Packers – uh, led by Rodgers and the Bucks, led by Brady. They thought it because it's them. But we got to stop going for the, the name is not the name anymore. Like, I mean, the only thing that stays 25, 30 years good is Air Forces. Other than that, you know what I mean? Things got to got to go away. Trends got to stop. It is what it you, is. You know, you, I, was, I was thinking about this. This is what I was thinking about. It could just be that the powerhouses are in our division. Like, it's a you know what I mean? It could just be that it, this is this is one of those years I feel like it's very important to win this division. You have everybody's so good and everybody's schedule is bad. Like you have to win this division. You know, you know, you have to make this thing go through Philadelphia. You don't want to be in a situation to where you're a wild card team. You just don't want that. You know what I mean? All the good teams are in our division. Hey, That's quickly, the story, truth. Super chat for LB. Uh, Mark is asking to get the hat. He said, check Brunson's site, but couldn't find it. Again, I'm seeing all these comments about the hat. Oh. Oh. I, 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 I send him the link to the to, for the hat. I send it to him in his text. He, uh, he literally just has to look at his text message. Which hat yeah, is it? I, it's it's the Hurt season hat. It's the Hurt season hat, right? Hat. Yeah, where's my damn hat at? My hat. I, I, I bet Mark Holmes they get to wear a Hurt season hat. Oh. I figured it might as well help. I, I figured I might as well help my man LB out, man. Make him a few. <laughs> hey, Mark, hey, Mark, 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 I just want to tell you. I, I know you were here, Mark. I got I got a lot of respect for you, Mark. I, I always have, man. You always you always hold up your end of the bargain, man. Yeah. Listen, if I would have knew this was going on, I would have at least made a blue and white one for you. There you go. <laughs> I would have at least got a blue I, and white one for you. Dude, I, hey, I want to wear the green. <laughs> yeah, you got to make him wear the green one. When I was in Philly, I was at Eagles Jags in the rain, which was not fun, but I, I was there. Those hurt season hats are everywhere, dude. They are. I oh, saw yeah, like yeah. 10 of them just in my little area where I was, dude. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. crazy. I was at the game yesterday, and, and some guys asked me where I got my hat from. And I just, I didn't even know how to, I, I didn't know how to answer that. <laughs> hey, where he you said, get your hat from? I was right like, here, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I was oh, like, man. I didn't want to be like, check like my this. link in the bio. Like <laughs> Ayo hey, just part of business. <laughs> just hey, yeah. you gotta right. turn them out. That's what you need. With the That's link on it, so they can go type it in manually. <laughs> Pretty much. You, you would have said like a tap card. That way, I can just tap it on your phone and take you right to the website. You would have uh, said, oh, "I I made those. I created those." They'd be like, "Nah, you're lying. It would never yeah, believe." Yeah. I don't even bother saying that no more. Just like if you know, you know. At this point, <laughs> right? Has everyone gone to a game so far this year? Are you guys still? You guys have have, have any plans for? I haven't one? gone to a game. I okay. haven't gone to a game this year. Okay. Yeah, uh, no. me, me and Mike were in the away game at Washington together. Oh, I saw that. I saw the picture on Twitter. Yeah, it, it was dope, I've man. I've never been. Dope, man. <laughs> do Redskins or Redsky, do uh, Commander fans even show up? Like at this point, we took that over. It was yeah. a rat. It was green. It was yeah, green. It was... Can you imagine just 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 for a second? And I, I, I we, we hate on all teams here. Imagine being a Washington Commanders football fan for like the past 20 years for as long as we've all been Eagle fans. Imagine being a commander's fan. You had the RG three year, which I went to Baylor. And so like RG three was our boy, but that was it. And since then it's been nothing but terrible. They have to change yeah. the name. Imagine having to change like all your gear. Like, like this shirt no longer exists because we're not the Philadelphia Eagles anymore. Right. Man, that has to have stunk. Plus that stadium apparently is awful. It's horrible. 
That's just tight That's as hell, terrible. man. You need you need, y'all need to sit people every other seat. Well, you might as well do it because no one shows up. <laughs> but man, it is it's it's not it's not right. It's not right. Have y'all been to uh, Jerry World? Have y'all been to the uh, new new Cowboy Stadium? Nah, no. I haven't. I haven't. Been. I, I want to go so bad, but it's not. I mean, eh, it's, I it's honestly not. It's not worth it. It's too I, big. I would go. I would meet you up there, LB, if it wasn't Christmas Eve. They, they, right. they ain't messing that's my, with that's Christmas Eve. That's um, my only thing, man. I don't want to spend Christmas up there. That's my only yeah. thing. Yeah, you want to get the hell out of there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, All those no young Christmas cowboy Eve. fans who got it as a Christmas gift, an early Christmas gift, you know, they got to take uh, the little six-year-olds yeah. to go watch the Eagles lose to the or the Eagles beat the that, Cowboys. There, that game will be the clinching game. That will clinch everything for us. Can you when imagine? We play think, I mean, think about it. Who who's gonna look at the next four games? Yeah, you got Pittsburgh, you got Houston, Washington, and Indianapolis. They're not losing any of those games. This is going to be a ten and zero team. Going into that Green Bay game, I, I'm convinced. Fine, yeah, Mark, there you go. Mark Holmes is here. Okay, doesn't know how to text the link, and I looked on your site and don't see the hurts hat. Congrats! Oh, I, I, like I can show you. I can show you. It's on. It's, it's on the third. It it's on the third page, Mark. It's on the third page. Yeah, get those hats on the front page. page.